illustrated is the center of the alpha apparatus with the annihilation detector on the outside. Peeling away like an onion, we next see the coil windings for creating the magnetic minimum. The arrows illustrate the direction of the currents used to make the magnetic fields. Going further inwards, we find the electrodes. The electrodes are used to generate the electric potential which confines the antiprotons and positrons before they form antihydrogen. We now bring the positrons and antiprotons into contact. A positron is bound to an antiproton through a collision with a second positron. This forms antihydrogen. Here you see the magnetic minimum, shown as a bathtub. The antihydrogen is trapped like a marble rolling around in the bathtub. To detect the antihydrogen, we turn off the magnetic fields and the antihydrogen escapes. The antihydrogen then annihilates on the matter in the wall of the system. We track the annihilation products to determine where the antihydrogen annihilates.